All right, this is a tutorial to help you do the favorites discussion utilizing the checklist I've made. You have two ways that you can do this. Um, you can do the online way or you can do sort of an old school way. I'll show you both. Um, in module two, which is when we will be starting the favorites discussion, and favorites discussions happen modules two through 13. So you will be doing <clears throat> 12 of these so you by the end of class you need to have 12 of these done they have due dates every week so you need or every module uh, which it equals a week's worth a, of work all right so if you're in module two <clears throat> you will see that there is a music listening checklist that's a pdf document this is the old school way you can do it uh, if you have access to a printer you print up you download this particular document and then you print it and you circle each of the things that are in the checklist. And then you take a photo of that or you scan it and you make a document which you will then upload to the discussion forum. That's one way of going about it. Or you can do the sustainable way which is a little more involved but um, you know, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So you go to the music listening checklist which I have made and you will choose to make a copy of this all right you will title this copy the name of the song that you have listened to so let's pretend that I go back to content and I go into the favorites content folder and that's right here on the left hand side however there's nothing in it right now because uh, that is your module one assignment and it's different for every class each of you will turn in an assignment in module one telling me what your favorite album is your favorite song and your favorite um, artist are and then I will populate our favorites in here you will choose each week a different one to listen to you may also choose from mine mine are at the bottom of this content folder and so let's pretend you scroll all the way down here and uh, you can go to my favorite song of all time or Daka Braca. Let's go ahead and go to Daka Braca, which is considered ethnic chaos. Um, and you listen to this, all right? And then after you listen to this, you have to create a checklist for it. So let's call it Daka Braca. And you're going to share it with the same people and say, okay, all right? Now that you've created this, you also need to change the title here so that we know what you listened to, all right? You will then send this to yourself. So I'm sending it to myself. Send. All right. And when I go to this, I will be able to fill it out. All right. Daka Braca is not a chamber orchestra. It's other combinations. It's none of these. Um, all of these, if you don't know what they are, either look them up or don't fill it out. But if we, each module, you will learn different parts of this stuff. And so as soon as we've learned it, I will expect that you will know the difference and start checking them. The beat prominence is very strong in this song. Um, it tends to be fast, medium, so it's both. It tends to have other meters and common meters. It can tends to have simple and <coughs> complex. It also has rubato, it also has ostinato, it has a very strong basso continuo. So all of those things exist, all right? Um, the melody is, I consider it prominent, but some people who aren't used to it will consider it not prominent. Um, there is a lot of ornamentation. There are fragmented and smooth lines, both. There is a repeated idea. There is also sequences. Major and minor scales are used. Um, and then these, these are a little more complicated and several of these are used in this particular song, but I'm not going to include them in this one because it's too complicated. Um, I would say that it is mostly dissonant. Uh, it does have both major and minor chords for harmo harmony. And this other stuff 
is um, a little more complicated. There are several clusters, which are seconds, which are dissonant sounds. Um, and there is a polytonality, because there's both major and minor tonality. All right. Um, then there are many independent lines, so it's polyphonic. It is not a large form. You'll learn more about that. It is not necessarily a detailed form. This, I believe, is a general concept of form, developmental, repetition of ideas. All right, then I'll hit submit. All right. <coughs> when I go back here to this, I want to go to responses. And I want to hit individual, because the individual will then show me what has been checked, all right? Once I'm on the individual, I'm going to go up here and copy that link. I'm going to go to the discussions. And I am going to put it in this discussion, all right? So I go to module two, and I start a new thread. DACA, Braca. I'm going to put the thread in. That's my child crying, trying to finish this before she gets too crazy. All right, I hit new window, I hit update, and I post it. All right, there's a second part of this, which is you have to respond to at least four people in this. So if I go to Daca Braca, I'm going to go look at somebody's file. Now, when you go to look at it, one of the things that happens is it's not necessarily going to go to the responses. So you got to go to responses, and you need to go to individual to look at what somebody wrote, all right? And then you'll see it. So you can comment on what they thought. And sometimes what you guys will find is you're going to want to comment on your actual favorites. All right, I hope you guys liked this, and I hope it will help you out. There you go.